guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching me, hello, my name is Carly, and today I'm dressed like I'm auditioning for Step Up 8. Like, doesn't this shirt just scream that I might be a backup dancer? Like, I might be hanging out with Channing Tatum later? Goals. If this is your first time watching me, I'll put the link on the screen and down below in the info to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you stick around. I post new videos every single Thursday. I'm actually dressed like a wannabe basketball player because I'm actually going off to the airport right after I finish this video. Don't get it twisted. Nothing about me is that Athletic. I'm just wearing this because I'm getting on an airplane. I travel a ton for work Like literally I'm always on a plane. You know that Bon Jovi song living on a prayer Yeah, that's like my life except living on a plane. I work in entertainment and wow that sentence just sounded like I basically am a clown I work in entertainment. I entertain small children. I do birthday parties, carnival, street fairs I'm sure you could find a deal for me on Groupon somewhere. On the real though I actually do a lot of video hosting. Currently I'm about to go off to Canada with Refinery29 to shoot a travel series so I thought I would film my process while I was packing and show you guys the tips and tricks I use to pack the most in the small space and how to only travel with the carry-on. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get into my tips. Packing cubes save my life. Packing cubes are what you can use to put in your suitcase to separate and organize your clothing, but they also help you save space. The smallest packing cube is where I put things like my socks, my sports bras, my bras, and my underwear. The second packing cube is where I put separates like pants, leggings, tops, tank tops, and then in the other packing cube is where I put kind of like the event pieces or like my dresses. You can fit a lot into these cubes, and then when you zip it shut, the air is kind of compressed out of them and you save a lot more space. It's kind of like a mini version of those like space savers with the vacuum that you're sucking the air out, except no one has time for that and no one can travel with that. Or maybe some people do, but I'm not one of them. Girl, I don't got time for that. Besides just packing cubes for clothes, you can also buy compartments for other items. So I got these black bags from actually Walgreens and they're really inexpensive. I got them, I think, in like the cosmetic slash hair care section. They have a bunch of like really terrible, bright colored, like awful polka dotted kind of things. Or you can find ones that are just plain and black, but I think they were actually touted as men's bags. And I was like, how rude of you, Walgreens, how rude. These are ways you can organize all the rest of your stuff that also has to go in your suitcase, so you can really save a ton of space and be super organized. Larger travel organizers are also great. I've just found for myself that using a lot of smaller bags actually makes it easier for me to pack more because you can fit them in little areas of the suitcase that you might not be able to do with one large organizer. I like to do this trick because then when I'm staying over people's places or in a hotel, I can quickly grab like my toiletry bag and run to take a shower if I need to instead of bringing like my whole suitcase with me in the bathroom. Things like my computer charger, my phone charger, the cords that I need for my cameras, they're all in one bag as well. So I'm never like looking for a phone charger or freaking out not knowing where my camera is. <laughs> So carry-on rules state that you can have a personal item, but that doesn't just mean it has to be a purse. You can actually bring a duffel bag. This way you're kind of getting two carry-ons and you can pack so much more stuff. So I'll pack my laptop, I'll pack my hats, and I'll pack anything else I need to fit in here. I like to pack purses within purses because usually when I'm on trips, I still like to have other bags minus my big carry-ons. I'll pack my smaller bag inside of my duffel bag. And in this purse is where I'll put things that I actually wanna have throughout the flight, like my portable charger, my vlogging camera, my phone. And that way when I get on the plane, I'll just put that bag on and put the other bags up. I'm not refilming that. I don't have time for this. That dog sucks. I like to pack a bag in my suitcase and just leave it flat and pack it there because that way if you're going on a vacation, you can just quickly take your beach bag out and then fill it with stuff when you're going to the beach instead of worrying about bringing all your big bags with you or using a beach bag as a carry-on because who's got time for that? We tend to want to pack options, but you shouldn't be packing options, you should be packing outfits. Don't listen to that song, don't just throw it in the bag. Carefully select what you're going to wear and then neatly fold it and zip it up into a packing cube, yes. That was originally the song, but it just didn't have the same ring to it. So I'll pack outfits for occasions. So I'm packing like four to five outfits versus like 27 options. I'll pack something also like a comfortable outfit, like a pair of leggings and a t-shirt and gym shoes. So I'll know that I can wear that at any point throughout the weekend. So I know I have all the options for how I want to feel without bringing 30 different options. People joke that I only wear black, white, or gray, but really it's because I'm lazy AF, and this way I know that everything at least goes together. 
because I stick to black, white, or gray, I can only bring then two black shoes that I can mix and match with everything that's in that color family. And I'll do this with the rest of the pieces I have. Like I'll bring one pair of leggings instead of bringing five different pairs of leggings. I'm gonna stop you right now if you're sitting over there being like, leggings aren't pants because I'm sitting over here being like, well good, I hate pants. Why do you think I pack leggings? I always wear my biggest pieces on the flight with me. So if I'm packing sweatpants, if I'm packing a jacket, my gym shoes, things that take up a lot of room in your suitcase, that's the stuff that I wear on flights. Sweatpants are the only thing that fit me right now. Serious? Hi, sorry, five minutes, I'm heading down. That was my driver. Yep, yep, things are real, I gotta get out of here. When I'm planning my outfits, I'll plan out how I wanna look for them. So I'm not bringing a curling iron, a straightener, all that stuff. I just bring usually a curling iron with me and that I don't bring a blow dryer because usually the hotel has it. If I'm going somewhere like my parents' house for the weekend, I know that they have pajamas for me so I won't even pack pajamas at all. I really try to eliminate the things that I know I can have other places. Okay guys, those are my traveling tips for how to only pack a carry-on. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single Thursday. I literally have to go catch a flight right now, so I will see you next Thursday. Bye!